Wildman. Online service on the very time Clancy goes free to our Wildman service. And that's how they do me though. Well, we still gonna get it cracking. <laughs> Motherfuckers must have heard I was tripping. It's like, oh, it's like be a man fool though. You better check that shit. Yeah, so definitely, uh, shout out to uh, all the subs, affiliates, those that I, you know, those that I keep it real with, those that I ain't even fuck with yet, but, you know, they're out here doing their thing. Hence the title, I'm not trying to, you know, be out there throwing salt in their game, you know what I'm saying? Unless that shit on some weirdo crazy shit, then, you know, unanimously, uh, you gotta go somewhere else with that fuckboy shit. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can uh, achieve on making El Sueño. I know where I last off. Um, been trying to really pressure his security. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh, he ain't like nowhere to be found. Turned on El Sueño. El Muros turned on El Sueño, and now the cartel wants him dead. Get to him and bring yeah, him in for that ass. Years. Hola, come up. I asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for us. Trying to hold out on a player. That comes to mind, and I've asked myself this time and time what's, what's true, normal, you know? It just seems normal would be like land. I got one of those cartel medals here. Some you gotta sit back and ask yourself. This. So many rules, ways to live. Handed down by people, you know. Strong morals. Which can benefit you through life, but. I don't think, um. What, what's the, the breaking point of. Normal, and when you go over to that way, like, you know, I think we all go through things in life that uh, definitely test our mental fortitude, so our curiosity. So, I guess, uh, how about you? Where the hell they put this damn helicopter? Oh, okay. Had a break serious mode real quick because I'm like, okay, I know I ordered a helicopter with cheese, but uh, with me. <laughs> and no, uh, they say you don't have to work for this. I'm rolling up on it. Got some 
<laughs> they okay, that's a trip. So you mean to tell me they're gonna drop the helicopter off near an enemy base? Wow. Another tango. Yeah, but that's a fact, like, I'm trying to tell some of my friends or people that, you know, you never know what's going on with a person. They could have problems, you know, just like you do. <laughs> Miss. Yes, I, I know. Bravo on the Jukum skills of the missiles. But that's what I get for flying too damn low. Man. It looks fucking gorgeous. <laughs> What you see, old Billy boy? That's a shout out to Bill Burr. They're just amazing talent out there, but that man is a variety. Like, Bill Burr is the only motherfucker wake up and be like, it's entirely too many, uh, <laughs> like. I always feel like that M. Night Shyamalan uh, movie plants is going all hostile on us, going all aggro. That's like you tired of you motherfuckers. War, thieves and shit, running around, fucking eating and shit and all they got damn time. Basically, Mother Nature was like, we need to see other people. <laughs> Well, but uh, I think that was the, the, I forget the name of that movie, but uh, in that Shamala, you know, Bill Burr he probably would have sat down. And I just, if Bill Burr could have had a part in that movie, this cat would have been like, 
cheering on Mother Nature that was wiping out man. <laughs> yeah, you deserve it. <laughs> hey, what's up, baby girl? Nia? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. And also me and my thoughts. Because currently I was just talking to myself. Well, not really to myself. I'm talking to take the important time out of their day to check me out. Oh, I feel like free falling. I shouldn't want to damage this though because I might need this for extraction. Uh, you know what? No, we don't set her down now. Let that mountain looks perfect. Yeah. Yeah, right there. It's like hunting big game going after El Muro. I don't want to tangle with that hombre. He's had near as much training as we have, and he's got home field advantage. On the plus side, El Muro and El Sueño had a falling out. It means he's only got the Sicarios who are most loyal to him. Yeah, I appreciate it. For a way out of this fight. So Everybody need love, too. Snitch? Even the haters. I, put my money on it, but we've still got I think that's the reason they lash out. So, um, I'm playing, um, sure Tom Clancy's, uh, Wildlands. Your your uh, pretty fun game. Um, it has a lot to do with, uh, Green Bolivia, and I can just show you this uh real quick uh this is the tack map which is i mean this game is huge it, it's still stuff i haven't like yet looked at but just to let you know they have um specifically like off of a drug cartel how you break them down so different people have smuggling production um influence and uh security I've been really aiming at security because can't really sell shit when you ain't safe, right? <laughs> Here's a bigger scope of it. So you have security, smuggling, influence, production. Now, all of these people I did not kill, you know, some just either a situation they went ahead and uh, chose to. either you know we force them or you know they're like hey you know i'm tired of swing your shit you know fuck the boss we we want out but some motherfuckers is just you know they loyal they all in the other shit they had to go <laughs> there was no reason they with them no matter of fact i think i'll change my appearance i know kind of like that outfit Yeah, so it's it's pretty fun. Um, the way you like right now, I'm gonna try my best to kind of go at this stealth wise. Um, it's it's really huge. I mean, I could lie in there just start shooting up shit, but the game gets really harder when you do that. Yeah, the visuals on this game are amazing. See, right there, I almost got spotted. Whoa, they must have some infighting going on there. I can't use my drone. Fire. El Muro's Unidad buddies are trading shots with Santa Blanca. All right, we go in and we find El Muro. Yeah. 
right here. This is a freebie. Yeah, it's a pretty fun game. You ain't going nowhere, pal. Sorry. Number on the move. Let's get the motherfucker. Ooh, guess I was not supposed to kill him. <laughs> that is how you kill the game. <laughs> Yeah, so judging by this mission, this is just a kind of grab and go. It's crazy. Well, at least now I know kind of what I'm dealing with right now. Damn. <laughs> I'll pilot. Okay, that ain't that far. Marking a captain. Buckle up, people. All right, let's do this and hopefully not kill this fucker. You ain't going nowhere, pal. Whoa. How do you do that? On the mission. Let's get the motherfucker. We need him alive. I say again, we need that HVT alive. I have a shot. Engage. Come here, fuck face. Back off, puto. Get your fucking hands off me. Ding, got a mother. Yeah, that's how you do that. <laughs> Better not roll this thing. Shit, we've got cards.
Ooh. I'm driving is kind of terrible right now. Yeah, try ramming a tank off the road, idiot. Oops, sorry. Send the insurance to America. <laughs> if you gringos were smart, you stop right here. Put a bullet in my brain and go about your fucking business. Maybe we just like your company, Muro. Isn't every day we meet a genuine Billy badass. You got wells, I'll give you that. Well, you pendejos are just a speed bump on my way to killing us, right? Two men like you being friends. You all had to know one day you were gonna try to kill each other. <coughs> Maybe. True amigos are a rare thing in this line of Eyes up. Let's get back to work. A huevo. Between me half and my hermano, the choice will always be my hermano. I'm gonna skin that pendejo sueño and I'm gonna hang his fucking face on the wall. Or like a trophy, you know. Yeah, I get the idea. But you? I ain't gonna take no trophy when I kill you. You ain't worth it. We need something faster. Oh shit, yeah, I didn't see nothing. Oh. That's my fucking turn. Lot of mercy. Yeah, I would I would advise anyone to get this game. This game is fun as fuck. Hell well, no, we dropping this hoe off. What the fuck are you talking about? Intel. Oh shit. Never mind. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I better get the fuck out of the way. Y'all see it, man. Pedestrians, they think they own the road. to the end of your illustrious career. Joe has the body there. Coopere total saldra bien. Yeah, your mama. What was the cartel thinking with El Pozolero? I 
have anything interesting to say? He's an angry guy, that's for sure. No es más que una puta. I see what you mean. You want some vengeance against Sueño? I am the means and the way. You just have to start talking. Every word you say is a nail in his coffin. This is why you keep me alive. It is muy pendeja. Tu gente killed my brother. Shit, yeah, he killed, killed a lot of brothers. He fucking Bolivian wasteland. Killed a lot of sisters. Killed a lot of aunts. Now you expect me to help you take down my best friend? What fucking planet do you think you're on? Helping us nab Sueño is protecting yourself. Why would I do that to him? To myself? Ubicate vieja. We are men out here in the wild. We don't play these pinches moritos games. I respect Sueño. And if I'm going to respect myself, I'm gonna put him down with my own bullet. Demi fusca cabrona. Now, I got a bullet for you too, Karen Bowman. Oh shit. How the fuck you know her name now? She didn't say her name. I know I'm about to get mad points for that though. <laughs> Broken lock. My security forces were shattered. I was a king without an army. My generals were dead or captured. I had no defenses, no armor. What use was a gun with a loyal hand to hold it? I had lost the only man I ever considered a friend. And when I asked my partners in Mexico for more sicarios, they refused. I would try to recruit from the gangs in El Salvador and Honduras. One man's war zone is another man's talent pool. But it would take time to train them, to cultivate them. Time I would spend with a target on my back, waiting for someone else to come for the crown. Damn right, we about to take that motherfucker. Surprisingly enough, got no damn calls from nobody. Okay, let's see where we at now. So, El Muro is done. What's up, Karen? Thanks for that intel on the rival cartel. A bit of misinformation, all that cloak and daggery stuff, it helped out with that Sicario El Jefe maybe interrogate. And I'd like to say that my afternoon with Yuri and Polito was the first time I'd ever enjoyed hurting a prisoner, but well, that'd be a lie. And I won't pretend I'd feel guilty about it, but it's not something I advertise. And I feel like we can be the bad guy just as much as we can be the good guy, you know what I mean? Like these two lovebirds, for all that bad shit they're capable of, they are just as capable of doing good shit. And they've got this reputation as total psychos, which, you know, they probably are, but most of their interrogation methods yeah. are Yeah, if anybody's watching, so check out all this stuff that you can do. The Americas. Crazy. And the rest of it, all that kinky shit Polito says he got out of some sexy French novel called Story of the Eye. Look... I'm not defending them, I'm not. I'm just saying that they're not creative. And if they're not thinking up wacky pit and pendulum type stuff, and if they are able to be as in love as they are. Hola, camarada. I have some very important information for you, my friend. What happened? El Sueño. One of my men claims to have seen him. We've been in Bolivia all this time. And this is the first that anyone who isn't cartel has seen El Sueño. Who is this man of yours? You're right to be suspicious. The information isn't clear, but with all our recent success, we must have forced El Sueño to show his face. There are no buchones left to run things. This could be our chance, Nomad. 
We can force the cartel out of Bolivia. Send us the location where you want to meet. We'll be there. I feel like this is one big ass trap though they about to have us go to. Really? They're gonna do that right in the middle of me jumping out of plane. You can now confront El Sueño. You can either complete the story or continue further to stabilize in the cartel. Your character. drone. Hey, sniper on the roof. I'm spotting another tango. I got a third. Check your targets. We got civilians all over the place. Got eyes on the tango. He's got a lot of background. Nice.
bullet resistance, twenty percent damage protection. Detection. Open fire. Roger that. Keep those weapons down. We want Maybe we should keep the guns side. down. Make sure we don't scare Keep shooting. Clean up and move on. Well, they no more. Took that ass up. Karen, I got no word on it. Activate the tier one mode and tier one tab gain instead of XP. Replay story mission or lost. Keep points. this up. I'll be as paranoid and as sweaty as that motherfucker. You know, Antonio hits his wife in front of other people. Uh, the guy's basically out of control, but the blow has got him so goddamn paranoid, I don't think we'll ever find his stash house. At least not this way. If they stop cutting our fucking budgets and we could get the manpower, then I would say put surveillance on this guy. Electronics, satellite, the whole nine. <coughs> We'll leave a marker so the rebels target. can pick up the supplies later. Going at him all casual, like he's just gonna open up and share his secrets with me? That's a fucking dead end. We need that chopper. Stay low. MPX. We've got intel on the location of several cocaine caches in Mohokoyu. I want you to locate the caches and destroy them, so we can put pressure on Mohokoyu's Buchon. Let's go. Oh. About to leave, y'all. Yeah. I'm cool, let's move. Another that's five. I got eyes in the sniper. Watch Tango on the roof. Tango on the roof. Just spotted one with submachine guns. That brings us to ten. Heads up, we got a turret. Oh, they are armed to the teeth. I got eyes on a Jenny.
weapon up. Tier one low press square. Weapons damage is level up with each upgrade. full of white powder. Who wants to break a crackhead's heart? Tango marked him. He's a little close to civilians. Got the alarms. Reinforcements won't be flying in. Embrace going for the noise maker. Oh shit. We got him.
sending up a flare. Eyes out. The jackass is actually walking towards the flare. Target destroyed. Time to clear out. They're running out of places to hide this shit. for rebels to draw their attention. We copy. Troops have been deployed to that position.
Alright. Hell yeah. That's a pretty good mission. Let's see, what else? Oh. Go ahead and do this then. I care, this ain't my car. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. underground. Or maybe not. Drone is airborne. I got eyes on a sniper. A sniper out there. I got eyes on a sniper. Target number five. Sniper out there. All right, that marks all of them.
now that the Jehovah boy just got shot. <laughs> Stay down. Shit. Opening fire. God damn it, the cartel sent reinforcements. Their LT's trying to run. Start talking, asshole. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. Got a 20 on an SB station. All you have to do is ask. machine guns. We've got eyes on a coke people. Let's take it out. Here they come. What's the play, boss? Line fired him. <laughs> there you go. They're clear. Demo is primed and in place. Hemos perdido contacto con el enemigo. Soldados de la Zahora, mantenga la búsqueda. Retírense. Los soldados enemigos rompieron contacto y se retiraron. Es hora de terminar la búsqueda. Go. Jesus, feels like the more we destroy, the more these assholes make.
else where we are. I'm gonna trust that. Still have done some more slot into this dude's game, so just gotta tiptoe around him. I asked Pakatari to send us a beat. when you'll suffer. Danger close. Press the wrong damn button. <laughs> Thanks. I'm pretty sure rebels on my being killed. <laughs> Done my helicopter. Clear. Demo's primed. Pakatari to send us a vehicle. Get down. 
refuerzos. Eliminen a esa gente de inmediato. Must be a very, very no fly zone. Yeah, thanks for baby girl, uh, Neil, coming up in here, stopping by, say what's up. Send over a vehicle for us. Now that's service. That ain't even nowhere near being realistic. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I got the C4 primed.
Okay, I need a freaking helicopter. to send us a vehicle. This look like it's gonna be crazy. Sicarios here by the helipad. That makes five. I'm getting a position. Find a good position. Target Shit, I gotta find Roger. a good position. Target acquired. Ready. Call the shot. Take it a shot. Going on. Escaping. That's a supply chopper. Let's hijack it and bring it to the rebels. I'm sure they'll make good use of it. Dead. <laughs> he goes down.
found some stuff that mentions the cartel built DJ Free to a house in a village called Todos Santos. Let's see if he's there. Digital scope, EXP, S, and it. G33. Damn. It's crazy. Under barrel. Equipped. So all I need is a good old rocket launcher. I think I'm gonna try to switch weapons. Bolt action, bull pulp, compact for close quarter combat. switch to the shotgun. Nah, I need I need to be able to take out helicopters. Uh, let's see what that MPX does though. Lasidious. <laughs> with randomized paint. Kind of like it just all black. Oh, I like that. Let's go with that. Look 
Global News, Tinku fighter Raul Vargas is moving to the United States of America to start a new career as a mixed martial artist in the new Global Fighting League. Vargas, the undefeated Tinku champion of Charamoco, is well known in Pucara as El Jaguar del Rey. He earned a name during his first Tinku sure battle a lot of by striking shards of broken glass to his fists. These Jaguar claws frightened so many opponents that Vargas won many of his first battles after landing only one or two powerful blows. Now, Damn. Vargas, who boasts more than 200 victories as a Tinku fighter, will match his strength and skill against the best fighters in the world of mixed martial arts. No word on whether or not he'll be allowed to use his trademark claws in the arena. Trademark claws. This motherfucker. <laughs> I just realized that this dude been kicking ass in this country because this motherfucker been using claws. Jaguar claws. <laughs> there you go, my people. I think like swiping a helicopter to bring a day into focus. What's this over here? DJ Precos. Oh, I hope I'm saying it right. DJ Preco. Preco, like pig. Yeah. Pay a visit to Perico's home in Toros Santos. Oh, if Perico. There, grab him and bring him in. If not, search the place for useful intel. <laughs> I'm on. He got left. <laughs> Watch your fire. Spotted one with some machine guns. It's a good tango with multiple civilians around. Deploying drone. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. and a sniper. If we can do this Thanks mission five. being quiet as possible. Dang, it's a lot of motherfuckers around here. Mm. A tango, he's close to that local. I got eyes and a mounted weapon. Roger that. Target marked. Target Let's marked. Keep an eye on your background. I got it. Moving to position. Target acquired. Standing by. Say the word. Uh. Shooting these fuckers. Damn, that sure got no attention. Alright, breathe easy.
Oh, they don't know we're here. I got a target carrying submachine guns. That makes five. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Check your targets. We got civilians in the area. Perico isn't here. Scour up any kind of intel you can. Hang back. They see you. Schematics of some kind. Fractal antenna, maybe. If Perico's using that fractal antenna to broadcast, that drawing might help the activity get a beat on his location. Eyes on the jet. Want to shut off the lights? Time for some lights out. Shit, they spotted us. Their lieutenant's running away. Oh. 
fire, fire, fire. Looks like you need to. That dude is gonna get blown up. Okay. back up. You better start talking, asshole. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. Enemy down. Nice. Oh, we got this place on lot. Holy shit. Laser sight, visible and envy. He earned a name during his first Tinku battle by strapping shards of broken glass to his fists. These Jaguar claws frightened so many opponents that Vargas won many of his first battles after landing only one or two powerful blows. Now Vargas, who boasts more than 200 victories as a Tinku fighter, will match his strength and skill against the best fighters in the world of mixed martial arts. No word on whether or not he'll be allowed to use his trademark claws in the arena. Oh, that's a high ass rate of fire. Damn, I love this job. No need to stress these people off. Keep the guns down. They're driving away. That truck's hightailing it out of here. Okay, let's see.
We've got the bike. I'll catch up with you. Oh, damn. Heads up, hospital's in here. Now, you hear anything about the cartel of the Sicarios around here? Let's steal this cartel participation. Gracias. Thirty percent speed increase. Heck yeah, I'm going again. That while trying to dodge these fuckers. Going on, mate. High speed, hell yeah. Go on without me. It's not that far, but no, I'm definitely about to shortcut. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Dang. Guess I'm going down here. SB builds them for their Bachonis. Best land no didn't ever. Go to say, I want something like this when I die. What are you, a seal? Because I don't know any quiet professionals who'd need something like this. Drone is airborne. Enemy spotted. Sure, that's one right there. I see a second target. Find some intel here. Damn right, but this shit here. is abandoned. <laughs> intel my ass. Oh, it's a weapon over here, I know that.
Oh, this is a weapon accessor. Nice. Now, who else is around here? Oh, you know I'm about to catch your ass slipping. Yeah, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You gonna learn today. That's it. Scared shit up. Hey. Break yourself. Shit your ass up. Yeah, uh-huh. You didn't see this going down today, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm fucked up now. I'll put you in the corner. He's about to talk. He's about to do some strange things too. Yeah, it's gonna get strange. Mm -hmm. No, nah, you can cut all that whining shit out. It's about to get weird. But tell me what I want. Just come down. Guy gave us the location for a supply drop. Let's get to it. Okay, it ain't gonna get weird this time, but next time, it's definitely gonna get weird. <laughs> Talking about doing some things, some things I'm not too proud of. Or maybe I am proud of. <laughs> Nothing solid, but I found Perico's former bodyguard, Turo Ruiz. He now works for the cartel at Pilka, some kind of mine. It seems like there's some kind of bad blood between the two. So Uh oh, bad blood. I need somebody to go ahead and sing that song for me. Might give up the DJ. I swear, on um, one time, me and uh, my girl went out to Vegas and they played that song religiously. It's like, now we got problems, and I don't think we should solve them. It is really because. Cause baby, now we got that blood. Hey. My favorite hour of the day, DJ Perico's non-stop I think I know all the lyrics to that song just based on us traveling and that song coming out constantly. <laughs> What's that? Dang, that's kind of well. It's not that far. Let's. Uh oh. Are we about to? Nah, nah. Let me stay on the road. Cause I will definitely. Um... Oh, terrible driving. <laughs> if I if I see a, a shortcut, I will take it. Ah, they coming with that drama. Let's see. Hey, is it all the way behind the mountains? Damn! Shut your ass up. Shit. <laughs> Dude pulled out on me. I had no choice but to, but to hit him with the car. Old fast and furious driving right here, baby. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh. you should be near Altito. Is that bad or the biggest name in Narco Corrido? Music that sings the praises of drug traffickers. Can't see I know his stuff. Well, you should. He's the public face of the enemy, the propaganda and recruiting machine with a voice like velvet. Fans are so nuts for him this past August when he refused to go on stage in Anaheim because of some pay dispute. The audience rioted, wrecked the venue. So he's got influence. Find out everything you <laughs> can about having that in Anaheim. Fuck <laughs> this, I'm mad. Profile, his agent will be making the rounds, looking for any way to make this trip profitable. Got it. We'll focus oh, okay. on finding that agent. 
Back your ass up. Back up. El Chiro. El Chiro Maruda. You know la puto chingada wey. Narco Corrido is like gangster rap for the 21st century. The talk is tough, the music is banned, <laughs> El and Pepe. the swagger is the show. <laughs> this sexy motherfucker is El Chico. Forum, Inglewood. We're gonna be playing soon. His record sales rake in millions of dollars every year. Were he not so close to Santa Blanca, I'd be having his babies. As it stands, this suave slab of macho writes and sings the corridos that tell the tales of Santa Blanca's Damn, patrones. she said, I'm trying to have that nigga baby. El Chico, real name. <laughs> trying to be his baby mama. Guy. He just sings like one. He's also in tight with all the villains in Santa Blanca. The cartels he said they pay me not to be a thug, but they love my voice. El Chico but ain't let a brother hang around. <laughs> This is an opportunity to nab an outsider with an inside track who's got Look everything to lose. Look at him. Oh, sexy ass Chico motherfucker. To roll on his buddies, <laughs> prosecutors in nearly every country of the Western Hemisphere will sing our praises. Damn. Snatch and grab, but be gentle. And please, don't touch that handsome face. I knew it. She wants to sit on this man's face. <laughs> She said, you can grab this motherfucker. I'm cool with that, okay? But just don't, don't mess up face, though. See? Those are show. Women don't want good men, you know? As long as you, you can be in some evil shit. As long as you look good, you straight. <laughs> it's like Pikachu. He could rip somebody's throat out. And all he have to do is just say, he got you, and maybe like, well, you Let's know, roll. it's probably his first time doing that. Let's go easy on him. But you know, that woman, Miss um, Bowman, she's she's not thinking with her brain. She's thinking with, yeah, that's right, the genus. Some women, you know. They just think with their vaginas, not the vagina, no. But the vaginas is where it's kind of like, you know, when they say men are dogs and, you know, we all think about our tip. We think with our second brain. <laughs> and it's understandable, too, because uh, we all human, you know, most of us. Some people are just walking around acting human. Like, for example, that pimp that knocked out that bishop, I kid you not, he, we don't know, man. That's just like some old spawn shit, you know. Maybe he was sent from hell, smack shit out of a dude playing bishop, you know what I'm saying? Or heaven. <laughs> Mine's been out of business a long while. All right, let's go. Probably one of those old silver mines the Spanish started. Slaves don't pump this dude's brakes. Ooh, I am in a bad position. Miners had to leave Real the bad position. For LTO when they were working. I can see why I wasn't. Oh, I'm about to be sodded. Nope, 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 nope. Woo. Sniper out there. Okay, that's what we need to get, and we need to do some spot checks because uh, <laughs> it's just a, it's a really shitty position to come in on uh, outposts. My god, I'm surprised no one's seeing me. Okay, this guy got to get taken care of. Yeah, I can't get him. 
good shot of him. There we go. There we go. Nice. The drone is up. I got eyes on the sniper. Motherfuckers up here. Okay, we're gonna have to do some team work. Target acquired. I've got the target. Shit, I gotta find a good position. Ready, call the shot. Taking a shot. Move. Okay, it's on now. Oh, that motherfucker got lucky. <laughs> That's all right. My boy's about to drop you anyway. <laughs> Get him, boys. <laughs> Nothing like that adrenaline shot, baby. see for the construction of a sound booth that has to be for Perico's radio station let's check out the address Nice. At least I got the high ground up here. Oh shit, here they come. Definitely get some more ammo. Nighty night, bitches. <laughs> okay. What else I got over here? Old silver mine. 
Uh, don't want to do that. Who wants some freedom fries up in his mouth? Yeah, I have a friend in Todos Santos, works at a train station there. He's ugly as fuck, so he never gets any girl, but the other day he met this chick who showed up some blueprints. He says it's huge, like a temple or something. A mausoleum. A mausoleum? A what? I'm not exactly up to date on my friend, <coughs> Can you explain what this means? Mausoleum. It's a Greek word. Describes a magnificent stone building where kings and emperors are buried. A tomb? It's much more than that. It's a token of our accomplishments here in Bolivia. A shrine which will remind everyone that a great man, with the help of a great people, can achieve anything. Can make history. Just like Santa Blanca is doing here in Bolivia. Esto es para el pueblo. Viva la revolución! Don't hit me! <laughs> Even though I darted right in front of you. Yo, cartel gunman, you're the truck. I see a second target. Civilians. Who's up for stealing a helicopter? That one's packed full of supplies the rebels could use. Let's grab it. Trying to be you better start talking, asshole. I'll talk, okay? Just come down. No reason why the supplies ought to go to the cartel. We could steal that cargo plane and hand the gear over to the rebels instead. Works for me. Let's go.
Got killed, <laughs> or at least downed. Nice. Compact and machine gun. Perico's former bodyguard now works at Pilka Mine. Track him down and see what he can tell us about his old boss. Alright guys, I think I'm going to stop the stream off on here. Um, thanks everybody for checking me out. Hope they enjoyed the battles and some of the fails that took place too. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it. Everyone have a great day. And I will see you later.